Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke. Today I'm here with another Back to Basics game, and as you saw in the title, this will feature the 1962 Mets today. Right there. And they're going to play the 1983 Padres. As you can see, the 83 Padres were 81 and 81, a 500 team. Although, really, if you were to look through and some of their ratings, they look a lot worse than 81 and 81. But that's what they were. And, and the 62 Mets were 40 and 122. <laughs> and again, I have my homemade cards right here these are the cards that are made up from the ratings on the PDF that I uh, that I bought as part of the when I purchased back to basics baseball and uh, with that we're just gonna get right into it no need to delay any further just want to point out to everybody if you're watching this if you're watching my channel for the first time subscribe and uh, also leave a comment and uh, below about the game or your thoughts on the game or maybe a game that you want to see because with Bank to Basics Baseball I have every team from the history of baseball pretty much. So uh, the 83 Padres will be visiting the 62 Mets so we are in Flushing, New York for this game um, and the first batter is going to be Gary Templeton and by the way, the Padres lineup is Gary Templeton, Luis Salazar, Tony Gwynn is in right field, Terry Kennedy is the catcher, Steve Garvey is at first base, Rupert Jones in center, Zeke Stolezcano is in left field, Juan Bonilla is at second, and the pitcher will be Eric Shutout Shaw. Now, I just call him Shutout Shaw. It's kind of an inside joke. But Eric Shaw will be pitching for the Padres and batting ninth. Um, for the Mets, you'll have Felix Mantilla at second, Richie Ashburn in center field, Jim Hickman in right, uh, Frank L. Thomas at third. That's not the big hurt, Frank Thomas, although he is kind of a big hurt. Uh, Joe Christopher in left, Marvelous Marv Throneberry at first, Choo Choo Coleman at catcher. <coughs> um, Chacon at short. And Roger Craig will be the, the uh, pitcher today for the 62 Mets. Roger Craig, of course, the former manager of the San Francisco Giants. And uh, the first batter is going to be Gary Templeton. So let's get on with this game. Uh, we look at the pitchers and the uh, pitcher... Uh, both pitchers today are C pitchers, and so Templeton is facing a C pitcher, and that says walk if um, the pitcher is uh, an F, if his walk rating is an F. Um, and uh, it, it's not, so we would go to the, uh, I believe we would refer to the batter section. We'll flip another card, and he is a batter C, and uh, let's see here. That would be a deep fly to left field. So there's one out. Templeton flies out. And that was a fly out to seven. Luis Salazar is up. Look at the pitcher's section first. That's a C, and that's a that's a fly out to left. So he does the very same thing. The next batter is Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn, I think maybe this was his, I don't know if it was his rookie year, but he didn't play that much. Uh, he only had 304 at-bats. Maybe he was injured. Against the C pitcher, he flies out to right, so that's a fly out. Two, nine, and that is no runs for the Padres in the first. The Padres go one, two, three, and up step the Mets. And I did not keep the out marker going, but hey. 
Felix Mantia, and he is also facing a C pitcher in Eric Shutout Shao, and that's a ground out to second base. So he grounds out to second, ground out to four. And if you're curious about that story about Shao, which you probably aren't, but I'm going to tell you anyway, when I was in high school, Eric Shaw was on one of my teams. And I had Al Holland in my bullpen. And Al Holland had like two automatic home runs on his card. And um, Eric Shaw was pitching and he was shutting the team down that I was playing. And the other manager said, why don't you bring in, because we nicknamed Holland Home Run Holland. And he said, why don't you bring in Home Run Holland? And I said, I'd rather stick with Shut Out Shaw. So that's my, <laughs> ever since then, he's been shut out, Shao. Um, so Richie Ashburn is up, uh, second batter, and we flip the card. He's going up against a C pitcher. That's a ground out to third base with a possible uh, range check. And um, the range uh, check at third base, the third baseman for the Padres is... Salazar and his range is an A so we will flip the card and uh, that's an out so Richie Ashburn is out uh, five, what is it five to three I think it's five to three and that brings up uh, or was that six to, is that six to three I don't know Anyway, that brings up uh, Jim Hickman, and Jim Hickman draws a C versus a C pitcher. It's a line out to shortstop, line out to short, and Hickman is out, and the Mets go one, two, three, just like the Padres did. And uh, again, I'm bad with the out marker here, but uh, I'll try to get better about it. Anyway, no runs for the 62 Mets. We go to the top of the second, and Terry Kennedy is up. He's facing a C pitcher, and that's a pop out to short. Pop out! That brings up Steve Garvey facing a C pitcher, and that's a strikeout. So we got the first K for Roger Craig. And that brings up Rupert Jones. And Rupert Jones strikes out. Second strikeout for our man Roger Craig. So no runs come across. And again, I did not do the out marker. Sorry about that. I it, Usually I'm pretty good about this kinds of stuff. But anyway, Frank J. Thomas, not the big hurt, is up against a C pitcher and he strikes out. And hey, here we go, one out. Joe Christopher is up against a C pitcher and he gets a walk if the pitcher's walk rating is C, D, or F. And um, it is. So guess what? That's the first guy on, on base. And he gets on by a walk. Marvelous Marv Throneberry is up against a C pitcher. He gets a walk if the pitcher's an F, but he isn't. So we'll pick another card and go to the batter's card. And he is a batter D. And that is a wild pitch if the um, pitcher is a, a B or a C. And he is, uh, I think he is. He is, yes, he is a C. So that's a wild pitch. That advances the runner to second and we will pick it again. Pick another card again and refer to the batter section. A lot happening with Marv, Marvelous Marv Throneberry here. And he gets an injury with a question mark. And the injury, let's flip the card. The injury would be to the base runner. And so the base runner is going to be injured and out of the game. We're back and uh, Gene Woodling will be the replacement player for um, Joe Christopher and now we have to pick again on the batter's card. He is a D again. And it is a walk if he's an A or B at walking. And he is not. And so he is out. And we will refer to the out section.
to see what the out is and it's going to be out to right field and that's going to be two away and we're going to say he doesn't advance on that so that was a fly out to nine and there is two down and finally marvelous marv throneberry's card is back down on the bottom of the pile as we go to choo choo coleman and choo choo coleman is uh or we have a swing so we have a swing we will refer to the batter's card for that he is a batter c and that is a single with two asterisks and scores a run and so the mets have their first run on a single that scores um woodling now not not christopher and i have a story about uh choo choo coleman um he was at he was interviewed one time by um, Ralph Kiner, who was one of the uh, Channel 9 New York um, announcers at the time, also former Pittsburgh Pirate, and he asked uh, Choo Choo Coleman um, what his wife's name is and what, she, what she's like. And he's, <laughs> he said his, her name is Mrs. Coleman and she likes me. So I thought that was a humorous story too. And now you got Elio Chacon with two down and a man at first base in Choo Choo Coleman and a C pitcher. And that's going to be a swing, so we will refer to the batter section. And Chacon was a batter D, and that is a home run if he is a B plus at home run, which he is not. Or it's a double three asterisk, so the run scores. And that's yet another run, and it's incredible. The 62 Mets have a two to nothing lead here. And uh, that brings up Roger Craig, and I've got the, you can see what I do is I mark it in the uh, lineup that it's the pitcher back card, and then I have Roger Craig's batting card on the back here. And we will go pick a C and that's a swing for Roger Craig. He is not a good hitter. You can see F's all down the thing. And uh, he is an F batter and that's a ground out to second base. So we will flip his card back over because he's got to go out there and pitch. So, uh, but the Mets have scored two runs in the uh, third inning. Oh, I skipped it again. I skipped another inning. All right, now it's in the second inning. They got the three runs. And so now I'm going to have to uh, extend that one. But anyway, that's fine, I suppose. Cito Lescano is up and his Padres are down. Two, no or yes, two nothing. Oh, what did I say? Did I say three nothing? Man, I am on drugs. Okay, it's only 2 nothing. So the 62 Mets are ahead 2 nothing with Sixto Lescano up, and he does get a swing against a C pitcher, which is what Roger Craig is. He is a batter D, though, and he gets a walk if the batter is an A at walking, which he is. He just happens to be an A at walking. So he does get a board with a walk in the third inning. So for him, it is the third inning. And I really am recording it in the right column this time. Juan Bonilla is up against the C pitcher. He gets a swing and uh, he is a batter D. And that is a home run if he's a home run A, which he isn't. Or it's a double two asterisk. So runners, ha the runner has to stop at third. And uh, here come the Padres. Now you got a runner at uh, runners at second and third with nobody out and the bottom of the uh, the uh, Padres lineup doing some damage and here we got the pitcher's hitting card for the Padres and that is Eric shutout Shao and he will we will and he's already lost his shutout so we will pick the card he's against the C uh, batter or pitcher and that's a swing. And he is an F batter, and that is a fly out to right field. And um, I'm going to say that, um, oh, yeah, if he's an RBI A, which I'm sure he is not, the runner would score. Um, 
but he isn't. So we put that back on the bottom. We flip Shaw's card back over for his pitching side. So that is one out, fly out to nine for Shaw. And that brings up Gary Templeton back to the top of the order. And he against a C pitcher, he gets a swing and he is a batter C and that is a triple if he's an A, B, C or D at tripling and he is not. So that is going to be a double with both runners scoring. So let's see, we've got a double for Templeton. Run scores and run scores and we have a tie game. And Luis Salazar up against Roger Craig, only one down. Against a, a C pitcher, it's a walk if he if uh, he is a walk um, B, C, D, or F. And Roger Craig is a walk B. So that is a walk. Salazar aboard with a walk. And the Padres are getting all kinds of guys on here. Um, two runners on, only one out. And Tony Gwynn, a very good hitter up. Against a C, he gets a fly out to center field. So that's two out. Fly out to eight. And that brings up Terry Kennedy with two down. Against the C, he gets a fly out to right field. So fly out to nine. No more damage is done. And the Padres tie the score at two all in the top of the third. We now go to the bottom of the third and I am going to readjust my score sheet here. So that we uh, reflect it as the third for the Mets who have Felix Mantia coming up. We're going to get the uh, runners off the base pads. And uh, against the C pitcher it's a swing for Mantia. He is a batter C plus and that is going to be a fly out to center field. So let's see, fly out to eight. That's one down. Ashburn, now I'm getting better about the outs. Ashburn is up and uh, against the C, he gets a swing. And that is, he is a, a batter A. And that's going to be a single with one asterisk. So he is aboard. And I guess it really wouldn't have mattered because there was no runners on. But it is a hit for Ashburn. And that brings up Jim Hickman. And we will flip the card as soon as I can get a hold of it. Um, against the C, that is a strikeout if he's an A or B at striking out people. And he is not. So we will go and refer to the uh, batter section. Or no, the out section. We refer to the out section. And that is going to be an out to center field. Two away. Hickman out. Flying out to center. As the first batter of this inning did. And now that brings up Frank J. Thomas. And against the C, he gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, C, or D at striking out. Which he is. And so Frank Thomas goes down on strikes. And that ends the Mets. For the third inning, we go to the top of the fourth. And um, in the top of the fourth, you got Steve Garvey coming up against a C pitcher and Roger Craig. Really, no point in going through this Mets bullpen because, I mean, nobody on the Mets was all that great except for Frank Thomas. Um, Steve Garvey uh, against a C pitcher, he gets a swing. And he is a B-plus batter, and he gets a double if he's an A or a B at doubling. Um, and he is not, so he just gets a single, and there he is. That's the batter, the leftover batter from the other inning, but um, let's just say it's Garvey right now. So Garvey is aboard, and Rupert Jones is up. Rupert Jones, against a C, gets a ground out to second base. And uh, so let me see if that is a double play or not. All right, so we will determine the type of ground out by flipping the card and looking at the um, 
out section and it says fielder's choice so uh, with a fielder's choice they are going to get the lead runner and there is one down um so that was rupert jones is that right yeah so there is one down with a runner at first and c Cano is up and against the C, he gets a ground out to shortstop with a, a um, an error check. So we will flip the card. Uh, the shortstop for the Mets is a D error. That's Chacon. And that's going to be an out. Um, and it is a double play. So referring to that section, he hits into a double play. And that is the inning. And no runs come in, no additional runs come in for the Padres in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth in a 2-2 game. Now, if you looked at the cards before the game, you would know that this is probably what you were headed for. The Mets were terrible. They were absolutely terrible. But the Padres, despite the fact being 81-81, and 81, on their cards, they don't look all that great. Woodling is up. This is his first at bat um, since he uh, replaced Christopher, who was injured uh, back in the, I believe, second inning. Um, and uh, he's against a C. That's a short fly to center field. So, so he is out. And this is the bottom of the fourth. <coughs> Marvelous Marv Throneberry. And as you can see, that's exactly how I wrote it on his card. Um, he gets a uh, strikeout against a C pitcher. So that's two down. And up steps Choo Choo Coleman. And Choo Choo Coleman gets a swing. So we will refer to his batter's card. And he is a batter C. And that's a ground out to second base. And no runs come in for the Mets in the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth. Where we will see Juan Bonilla for the Padres. Against a C pitcher, that is a strikeout if the pitcher is an A. And he is not, so we will refer to the out section just to see who the out is, and it's right field. So Bonilla hits the ball to right field and is out. Here in the fifth, to lead off the fifth. That brings up Eric Shutout Shao, and he is an F batter um, against a C pitcher. It's a strikeout if the pitcher is an A or a B at striking people out. He is not, so we will see where the out goes, and it goes to right field. So two flies to right to start the inning, and now Gary Templeton is up. And C is a strikeout if it's an A, B, C, or D at striking out people. And Roger Craig is not. He is an F at striking people out. So um, we will see uh, where the out is. And it is an actually fly out to right field. So uh, that is three fly outs to right in the fifth for the Padres. Who failed to score in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth with... Elio Chacona. Again against the C pitcher. He gets a swing. And he is a batter D. And that's a ground out to third base. One away. Chacon is out. And that brings up the pitcher. He is an F batter. But right now he's against a C pitcher and there is a swing and he's an F batter which is a ground out to shortstop with a range check and the shortstop is Mr. Gary Templeton and his range is a B not looking good there and it is an out and so Roger Craig is um, out to the uh, shortstop so six to three Or, wait a minute. Yeah, Ro I think Roger Craig, right? Yeah. Six to three. And then that brings up Felix Mantilla. 
And Felix Mantia gets a swing, and he is a batter C+, plus, and that is a ground out to shortstop. Top of the lineup, and they're out. So we go to the top of the sixth, and we're in a 2-2 game between the 1983 Padres visiting the 1962 Mets, one of the worst teams in the history of baseball, and I did not keep out on the out marker again. This time, Luis Salazar will lead it off for the uh, Padres against a C pitcher. He gets a swing. And he is a batter C, and that is a short fly to center field. So Salazar is out, fly out to A. This game is going rather well. Um, Tony Gwynn uh, gets a swing. He is a batter A, and an A gets a home run if he's an A home run, which he is not. Or um, it is a deep fly to right field otherwise. And so that's what it is. There's two down. He flies out to right, two down, and Terry Kennedy, the catcher, is up, and he gets a swing, and against, and he is a B-plus batter, and that is fly out to left field. So fly out to the other field, seven, and no runs come in for the Padres. In the sixth, we go to the bottom of the sixth, and you have Richie Ashburn up. <coughs> Against a C, gets a line out to third base. Jim Hickman is up with one down. Against a C, gets a pop out to third base. Third baseman is pretty busy this game. And uh, that brings up Frank L. Thomas. And he gets a swing against a C. And he is a batter C which is a ground out to first base. And the Mets go really quickly right there. And we're just moving along, moving along. Top of the seventh inning. The uh, Padres are up in the top of the seventh. And also, they uh, Shao is a six pitcher, which means that's his endurance. And so if we're in the seventh right now, that means he downgrades one from a C to a D. So, Shaw is a D, but we're going to keep him out. Or, wait a minute, um, uh, Roger Craig. It's the same thing for Roger Craig, though. He's a six, an endurance six. So, if he pitches right now, he is actually a D pitcher, not a C. And Steve Garvey is up against him. And so, he gets a swing. Everybody gets a swing on that, though. And he is a batter B+. plus. This is Garvey, right? Yeah. B+, plus is a ground out to second base. So that's one down. That brings up Rupert Jones. Rupert Jones against the D gets a swing. And he is a batter D. And that's a fly out to center field. Two away. And so a, a gassed Roger Craig is doing a great job out there. Two down. And that brings up Sisto. And Sisto Lescano gets a strikeout against a D pitcher. So Sisto Lescano strikes out. And Roger Craig did an excellent job there um, in the seventh, even though he was gassed. And we are going to have somebody warming up for the Mets. Okay, Bob Miller is going to be warming up for the Mets and uh, is expected to come out and pitch uh, when they uh, come up in, or when they go back out in the field in the top of the eighth. But right now we're in the bottom of the seventh. With uh, the Mets batting, with Gene Woodling getting his second at bat since replacing the injured Joe Christopher. And the same thing applies to Shaw. He is now a D pitcher, but that's a strikeout if he's an A pitcher. He is not a strikeout A. So um, that is going to be a an out to second base. So Woodling grounds out here in the seventh to second base. That brings up Marvelous Marv Throneberry, and uh, he is going up against a D pitcher, and he strikes out. So the same thing for Shaw. He's gassed out there, but he's giving it the old country mile there. 
And uh, against the D gets a swing is Choo Choo Coleman, and he is a batter C, and that is a ground out to shortstop. So you've got uh, Choo Choo Coleman grounding out to short, and we are going to, and again, I did not keep good track of it on the out marker on the out panel, but anyway, um, we go to the top of the eighth. And the Padres now, uh, and the, actually the Padres will get somebody warming up in their bullpen. Okay, Luis De Leon is warming up for the Padres in their bullpen. Uh, but right now, the um, the Padres are batting against, are going to be batting against Bob Miller. And so... Uh, Roger Craig only went um, seven innings. And so the Padres are up with Juan Bonilla. And let me let me get my bearings on this sheet. And so there he is. And um, Bob Miller was a C pitcher. And uh, that's going to be a swing for Bonilla. And he is a batter D, and that's going to be a ground out to third, one away. So Benia grounds out. And the next up is the batter's position. And so since they do have somebody warming up, they are going to pinch hit for shutout Chow with Alan Wiggins. So Alan Wiggins is going to come in and pinch hit. And so we want to write that down. And uh, we will pick the card against a C pitcher. He gets a swing. He is a batter B. And a batter B gets a strikeout if a D or an F, um, if the batter is a D or an F, it's striking out. And he is not and so that is an out and it is an out to second base so alan wiggins grounds out ground out to second two down and we will put wiggins's card back with the padres and gary templeton is up with two down now and that is a swing for gary templeton against a c pitcher and he is a batter C, which is a home run if he's a C plus at home run, which he is not, or it's a double. So they open the door here a little bit. They've got a bit of a chance now um, with Templeton having hit a double off of Bob Miller and Luis Salazar up at the plate. And against a C pitcher, he gets a swing and he is a C batter. And that's going to be a balk. If he is a D or an F, um, if the pitcher is a D or an F, but there is no Bach rating. So uh, I don't know. Or well, I guess if the pitcher is a D or an F, and he isn't. So um, we will pick another card. We just established that there's no Bach. And so uh, he is a C batter, and that is going to be a double two asterisk, and Salazar knocks in a run. And that might be unrecoverable for the 62 Mets. But you got Tony Gwynn up next with a man at second and two down. And a C pitcher gets a fly out to left field. But they did score a run. And they go ahead, the Padres do go ahead by a 3-2 to two score here in the top of the eighth. And we are in the bottom of the eighth. And... Um, the new pitcher, of course, for the Padres will be Luis De Leon, who was warming up. Elio Chacon. And I'm, you know what, I'm just going to reshuffle these right now. Okay, we have a reshuffled deck with Chacon up at the plate against a De Leon is an A pitcher. So they're going to have a tough uh, road to hoe here. Against an A pitcher, there is a swing, though. And Chacon is a batter D. And let's get the good.
good grip on the card and that is a home run if he's a C plus home run which he is not or it's a double so now the Mets have the same situation only they have it with no outs Chacon up at second base And that brings up the pitcher batting, and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to bunt with, well, no, wait a minute. Um, yeah, yeah, we're going to bunt with uh, with Bob Miller up. Okay, we will pick another card, refer to the sacrifice section, and that says sacrifice to third base. So it was a successful sacrifice, runner advances one base, they will bring the infield in. As that was a sack bunt by um, Bob Miller. So the infield's in with Felix Mantia up. And against a an A pitcher, he gets a swing. And the uh, he is a batter C+. Plus. And that's a home run if he's a D. It's a fly out to it's a deep fly to center field. And so that does score the run. There's two down. Mantia on the fly out ties the game for his team. And it's the Mets are not going away. And it's Ashburn up with two down. And uh that is going to be a uh, against an, an A pitcher. That is a strikeout if he's an A, B, C, or a D at striking out. And he is. So Ashburn strikes out. And we go to the top of the ninth. And it's a 3-3 it's a three, three game in the top of the ninth with Kerry Kennedy up at the plate. Bob Miller with plenty of gas in the tank. Um, and against a C... He has a swing, Kennedy does, and it is he's a batter B plus, and that's going to be an injury with a question mark. And uh, we pick the card, and it's base runner, and there is no base runner, so there's no injury. And then we will pick the card again, and um, he is a B plus, and that's going to be a pop out to the catcher. So Kennedy pops out to his opposite number. Pop out to the catcher. That brings up Steve Garvey with one down. Against a C pitcher, he gets a swing. See, what did I tell you about these Padres? They're not that good. Um, and against, uh, he is a batter B plus, and that's a short fly to left field. So there's two down. Garvey with a short fly to seven. And that brings up Rupert Jones. And against the C pitcher, he gets a swing, and he is a D batter. And that is a strikeout if he's an F strikeout, which he is. So he strikes out. No runs come in for the Padres in the ninth. And now the Mets can win this game. This is crazy. But the Mets could win this game right here. De Leon is in his last inning pitching for the Padres before he will be lowered to a B. Um, so we have Jim Hickman up. Against an A, he gets a swing. And he is a batter D, and that's a deep fly to center field. So Hickman is out. Frank J. Thomas is up um, against an A. He gets a swing, and he is a C batter. And that is a ground out to first base. So that's two out. And that brings up Gene Woodling. Uh, Gene Woodling at the plate against an A pitcher. He gets a swing. He is a C-plus batter, and he gets a single. So he keeps their hopes alive for a win right here, which you would think that's where they want it to happen. Marvelous Marv Throneberry. Against an A, he gets a swing. And he is a D. And a D gets a single two asterisk. And now we have runners at the corners for the Mets. 
This is crazy talk, people. The 62 Mets could beat the 83 Padres if Choo Choo Coleman can do something here. And against an A, he gets a fly out to center field, so he can't. I mean, just we're just going to solve that problem for you right off the bat. They can't, and they don't get any runs there. And now we're going to some extra baseball. No runs in the ninth. We go to the tenth for Sictoles Cano against Bob Miller again in his third inning of pitching, and he's an endurance four, so he can do this. And against a C, he gets a walk if he is an F at walking people, and he isn't. So we look at the batter section, and um, he is a batter D, which is an injury with a question mark and a home run F with two question marks. I don't know what all of that means, so I'm going to take a look. I mean, I know about the injury. We will pick and see what the injury was. Um, it's base runner, and there is no base runner. Okay, so there was no injury, and Sisto Lescano did hit a home run, because he's a home run D, and it says in the directions if he is a home run uh, great, equal to or greater than what's in parentheses, it's a home run. And you have to be greater than or equal to an F. So Sisto Lescano, and he is, he's a D. So he hits a home run. Sisto Lescano gives the Padres a lead of four to three right now. And Juan Benilla is up. No outs yet. He gets a swing. And he's a batter D. And that is a uh, home run if he's a D or it's a deep fly to center. If not, and he is a D home run. So he hits a home run. And now all of a sudden, I think you got to say the Mets are done. The pitcher bat is up. They're just going to let him bat. Uh, wait a minute. No, DeLeon is out of innings now. So they will actually bring in a pinch hitter. Gene Richards will pinch hit. And uh, let's see here. Let's write him in. Might as well because DeLeon was at the end of his rope. Against a C pitcher, it's a swing, and he is a batter C+, plus, and that is a fly out to right field. So Gene Richards gets out. All right, so there's one down, and Gary Templeton is up. Against the C, gets a swing. He is a batter C. That is a strikeout. If he's an F strikeout, um, which he probably isn't, he isn't. So the out is instead uh, to third base. So he goes uh, six to th or five to three. And there is two out, and that brings up Luis Salazar with two down and a walk. A C pitcher walks him. And the Padres, now all of a sudden they want to be a scoring machine. With Tony Gwynn up, and he is an A batter, um, but against a C pitcher. And he gets a walk if he's a B, C, D, or an F at walking people. And he is. So Gwyn just takes the walk, and there are two on with two out, and Terry Kennedy up. And against the C, he gets a walk if he's a D or an F, and he isn't. And so we pick on his card, and he is a B-plus batter, though, and he gets a walk if he's an A, B, C, or a D at walking, and he is. And so the bases are full on walks. And I think they rattled Bob Miller just a little bit here with Steve Garvey up. And he gets a deep fly to left field, left field which is an out. But the Padres did score two right there. And you got to think that that's going to do it. Well, that's great. That's just fucking great, man. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? We're some real pretty shit now, man. Finished. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? Maybe we could build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? 
the uh, the Padres will bring in uh, Elias Sosa to pitch. He is a pitcher C. So that's a downgrade from Luis DeLeon, but again, DeLeon did not pitch all that well. And they will face Eli Elio Chacon against a C pitcher, and that's a strikeout if he's a strikeout A. And he is not, so that we will just pick to see what the out is, and it's an out to center field. So uh, Chacon flies out to center. And that is going to bring up the pitcher, and of course, they are going to pinch hit for him. They're going to pinch hit Charlie Neal. So Charlie Neal comes on to pinch hit. He's a C hitter against the C pitcher. He's a strikeout if he is an A, B, or a C at striking people out. And he is not, so we will see what kind of an out it is. It's an out to center field. Charlie Neal gone. And with two down now... We are up to Felix Mantilla at the top of the lineup. And against the C pitcher, he gets a swing. And he is a C-plus hitter. And that is an injury. And uh, we will pick the card. And uh, it says shortstop is injured. That is um, Templeton. And so we will put another, we'll say, let's see. I don't even know. If shortstop comes up, we'll deal with it. There's two outs here in the 10th, though, and they're down by two runs. Uh, so we will pick another card to see what he does. He's a C-plus. That's a home run if he's a B-plus at home run or a double. So he does get a double. And that brings up Richie Ashburn. They need a home run by Ashburn right here. They really, really need that. He gets a swing, and it is going to be, he is a batter A, so you never know. Maybe he gets one. A gets a home run if he is a B at home run, which he is not. Or it's a deep fly to center field, and that does end the game. The Mets do not get anything in the 10th. And so the 83 Padres have beaten the 62 Mets in Extra innings, mind you, by the score of four to three. And the uh, winning pitcher is uh, De Leon for the Padres with Elias Sosa getting the save. And the loss goes to Bob Miller of the 62 Mets. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.